There are simple things you can do to defend yourself against viruses, especially during the peak of winter. But the name of the game is consistency. So culinary nutritionist Trudy Stone is here with some basic daily habits to support your wellness and your immunity. Trudy, it's so good to see you. What is your first habit for us? The first tip, Tracy, is to stay hydrated. This is a simple yet overlooked habit to boost your health. Here's the thing, your immune system relies on the nutrients in your bloodstream, and your bloodstream is made up mostly of water. So you need that water to make sure that those nutrients get transported to your organs. But I get it, drinking water can be boring, even for me. So that's why I like to add things to my water like citrus fruits. So I'm talking lemons, grapefruits, and also some fresh herbs as well. So the bonus here, Tracy, is that these citrus fruits actually have vitamin C, which is great. So to make sure I'm getting my daily dose of vitamin C, I really like Jameson vitamin C. The great thing about it is that it's great for a healthy immune system. It's also a great antioxidant source for the maintenance of good health. And it's great for just everyday immune support. And I love that it comes in like these delicious chewable flavors like tangy orange and tropical fruit. Mmm, yeah, it's like, you know, having a little sweet treat in the morning, which I like, that's what I like about them. Okay, what can we do next? Okay, next, Tracy, you want to make sure you are taking a daily stress break because stress really does impact your body negatively, specifically your digestive system and your immune system. So when you're stressed out, the blood and the energy normally used by your digestive system instead gets redirected to other areas of your body, which is why it's super important to have a daily stress management habit. So take 30 minutes a day, a time that is just for you and do something that you enjoy. So it could be meditation, it could be pulling up a funny clip on YouTube, or it could be what I like to do, which is journaling, which is a really great way to get those thoughts out of your head and onto paper. What about you, Tracy? What are some of your favorite ways to relieve stress? I was just going in my head, through my head, like on all of the really smart things I could say, but the real answer is cat and dog videos. <laughs> I'm into them <laughs> lately. I need something lighthearted and right. fun. It's yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, whatever it is, Tracy, like I said, just make sure that you enjoy it. Something that uplifts your mood. And they're just so cute. Okay, I love your next point, which is to embrace <laughs> more plant-based protein on a regular basis. Yes, that's right, Tracy. Food costs are on the rise. When I did grocery shopping the other day, I was astounded by my grocery bill. And one of the most expensive things on that bill is animal protein. So why not swap out that animal protein for some plant-based sources? Because you're going to benefit from additional nutrients that your immune system needs, like vitamin B12. And vitamin B12 is really important for a healthy metabolism, as well as helping your body to metabolize the nutrients from the foods that you're eating. So one really fun way that I like to get my vitamin B12 and my plant-based protein is in my loaded vegan nachos. These taste absolutely delicious, Tracy. And there's a secret ingredient in there, which is nutritional yeast. Have you used nutritional yeast before, Tracy? I have, actually. We went through a phase where we were sprinkling it over the popcorn for the kids because it's got sort of like that cheesy oh. taste. Yes, that's right, because it's a popular vegan cheese substitute. So I really love putting this together. It's great for a Netflix night. And vitamin B12 is something you're going to get a lot of in that uh, nutritional yeast. So nutritional yeast is an inactive yeast, okay? So it's then heated and dried and then crumbled into flakes or into powder form. So if you want to get more of that vitamin B12, that's when a good quality supplement comes in. So I really like Jameson Fast Dissolving Vitamin B12 because it's naturally energizing and it's made from a premium ingredient methylcobalamin, which just means that it's faster acting than other forms. And it also comes in a delicious, fast-melting cherry flavor. Ooh, I'm glad you had to say that word and not me. Whoo! Okay, your next tip is so <laughs> important, <laughs> especially right now. <laughs> Yes, Tracy, and that is to embrace the magic of vitamin D. So vitamin D is so important for the normal functioning of your immune system. It's also important for helping to prevent colds as well as minimizing respiratory infections. And most of us just aren't getting enough of it. So the best source is the sun. So when it's sunny outside, yes, even on those cold days, I want you to get outside and take advantage of the sun and get that vitamin D. So this one can be a tough one to get through food as well, Tracy. So I really like Jameson Vitamin D3. It helps to support a healthy metabolism. It also helps with bone health, and it helps with the absorption of calcium and phosphorus. So this is great for everyday immunity. It is so important. 
Okay, stock up everyone. That is one vitamin I never go without, <laughs> the Jameson uh, vitamin D for sure. Last but not least, Me too. can we talk about sleep? Can we talk about prioritizing sleep? It is so important and we'd all be better people if we were sleeping better. Absolutely. You don't want to be around me when I don't get enough sleep, Tracy. Neither does my husband. <laughs> so if you're not prioritizing sleep, then you're probably not getting enough of it. So lack of sleep actually weakens your immune system. And it can also take you a longer time to recover from colds if you do get sick. So try to get anywhere between seven to nine hours of sleep a night. So if you have trouble falling asleep at night, sometimes like I do, here are some things you can do. So first of all, you wanna limit that caffeine or alcohol close to bedtime, okay? Secondly, you wanna have some sort of like a wind down routine, something that sends a signal to your brain that, hey, it is time to go to bed. So that could be, you know, drinking your favorite cup of soothing tea, maybe reading a really good book as well. And healthy snacks are also great close to bedtime, but just make sure we're choosing the right ones. So instead of those sugar-laden cookies, which spike your blood sugar, reach for like walnuts or pistachios instead, which are great sources of sleep-inducing melatonin. You also want to make sure that you're shutting down those tech devices at least 30 minutes before bedtime because the light from our favorite devices can actually suppress the release of melatonin in your body. If you have trouble falling asleep sometimes like I do, I really like Jameson Dual Action Time Release Melatonin. It's a safe, natural, non-habit forming sleep aid. And what I really like about it is that it has, it's really cool because it has like two layers to it. So the first layer is fast dissolving, which means that you're gonna actually fall asleep faster. While that second layer slowly releases additional melatonin for a full restful night's sleep. Oh my goodness, that sounds incredible. Trudy, thank you so much. Great information.